Innovate Software Solutions welcomes you to the embedded world. This video is dedicated to those who want to embed their names in the field of embedded system. You would have heard many explanations regarding embedded systems from many people. But this video is designed from an embedded developer point of view. And hence, it will not be as usual as everyone explains to you. Okay, what are the benefits if you watch it? First, you will come to know what is real industrial embedded and what is going on in an embedded based company. Second, you will be able to understand the embedded system as a whole entity. Third, you will come to know how to prepare yourself to become a smart embedded developer. And finally, it enlightens your career. A view of embedded system from a professional look. Many of you would have been already familiar with 8051-8086, assembly coding, learning upcodes, instruction sets, etc. They are good starting point for the embedded systems, but they always serve only as the basics. Is these basics are well enough to fill the gap between you and the embedded industry? How to know what kind of people an embedded industry needs? To know this and to prepare yourself for the embedded industry, you must first know what is their product cycle. Let us consider a company manufacturing cell phones. This obviously would be the product cycle for it. The company first plans what are the peripherals and components it will include in its cell phone. A good and bright color TFT display. A powerful ARM based processor for doing the work. A DSP based co-processor or processor for crunching the multimedia load. A good response touchscreen. A powerful audio codec chipset for handling the audio playback and record. Keypad, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. SD or MMC extendable memory interface for storing bulk multimedia, video, audio, etc. Mini USB port for communication with the personal computer. High internal flash memory which is also called phone memory to store the MMS messages etc. A powerful embedded OS which will handle and manage the resources. And finally, a good GUI support above the OS to run any user-based application like real player, calendar, notebook, etc. Like this, the list goes on keeping in mind that the final product should be a great success in the market. Okay, now they have fixed the peripherals. Now, how will they proceed? Do you think they are going to start all of their work from scratch? Do you think they will write each and every part of the driver code from scratch? Then it will take years for them to launch their product. Because they have to do a lot of things. For example, they have to develop a new fresh board. They have to write a bootloader for it. They have to port the entire embedded voice to it. They have to write drivers for all of their peripherals. They have to port full GUI runtime support above it. Do you think all of the above things are going to complete in a very small time? It will be like a great research and development project for them. Then how do they manage? Here is the trick that they follow. 